We are the paradoxical ape. Bipedal, naked, large-brained. Long the master of fire, tools, and language, but still trying to understand ourselves. Aware that death is inevitable, yet filled with optimism. We grow up slowly. We hand down knowledge. We empathize and deceive. We shape the future from our shared understanding of the past. Carta brings together experts from diverse disciplines to exchange insights on who we are and how we got here. An exploration made possible by the generosity of humans like you. Good afternoon and welcome to this 35th Carter Symposium, uh, which explores the origin of today's humans. One thing we do as humans is ask questions. And among the oldest questions that we continue asking are, who are we? What are we doing here? Where did we come from? How did we get here? Where are we going? Many of us have wonderful stories as attempts to answer these questions, but we at Carter believe that two of these questions are now amenable to attempts at answering them using scientific means. A large variety of data and ways to analyze new data, combined data. So these two questions, where did we come from and how did we get here, are what anthropogeny is about, the study of human origins. We believe that the only way to get there is to recruit different minds from the humanities, the biological sciences, engineering, computing sciences, physical and chemical sciences, biomedical sciences, and the social sciences. And in a dialogue, exchange perspective and learn from each other and come up with better questions and better ways to attempt to answer these. Carter is an organized research unit at UCSD and is, exists between UCSD and the Salk Institute for Biological Studies. CARTA stands for Center for Academic Research and Training in Anthropogeny. It's a transdisciplinary collaboration, and our goal, our mission statement, is to explore and explain the origins of the human phenomenon. It's co-directed by Ajit Varki, Fred Gage, and Margaret Scherninger, and myself. We are very, very grateful for our major sponsors, the G. Harold and Leela Y. Mathers Foundation, and its executive director, Howard Chester. We also have major sponsors that have done, given very generous support to, to, uh, to this project, a long list of people who support us. And if you should be considering supporting various aspects of CARTA, there are different facets that uh, we invite you to support from the symposium series, to the graduate fellowships, to the field course, to the uh, James H. Andelman, Jim Handelman Endowment for the Exploration of Anthropogeny. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Liz Lancaster and Ellie Schefter, who are sponsoring the uh, closed captioning of today's event. I'd also like to thank the Carter staff, Lindsay Hunter, Kate Kaya, Linda Nelson, and Jesse Roby, UCSD TV that is recording today's events, Rich Vargo, Steve Anderson, Marcy Bretz, and John Meunier, the Salk Media Services, Ken Schnurker and uh, Mike Jeffs, George Svoboda, who played for us today, and our Carter volunteer, uh, Busi Mafania. With this, I'd like to uh, hand the floor to Mark Collard, our first co-chair. Good afternoon, and thanks for coming. Um, I just want to start off by explaining that uh, I wasn't supposed to be standing here um, in front of you today, nor was the uh, other co-chair for today, Professor Kristen Hawkes. Um, the original chairs for the meeting were Professor Richard Klein of Stanford University 
and Professor uh, Sarah Tishkoff of the University of Pennsylvania. However, Richard had to withdraw a few weeks ago, and I was asked whether I could cover for him. And then uh, last weekend, Sarah also had to withdraw, and uh, Kristen was asked whether she could step into, into the breach, which she kindly did. So uh, arrangements have been a bit um, fluid. Um, anyhow, uh, I suspect that Richard and Sarah are, are watching the live feed of the talks this afternoon. So I'd like to ask you to please join me in thanking them for putting together what is a stellar roster of speakers for us. Thank you. Um, if you haven't wandered into the auditorium uh, by accident, uh, you'll know that the focus of the symposium is the origin, evolution and dispersal of our species, Homo sapiens. Uh, the last time Carter covered this topic was six years ago, and there have been many uh, exciting discoveries in the interven in intervening period. So we're in for a fascinating afternoon. The talks cover uh, four main lines of evidence pertaining to the origins of living humans. They skeletal anatomy, archaeology, the genetics of living humans, and DNA extracted from uh, ancient hominin remains. In addition, we're going to hear about the latest research on the rather puzzling hominin species, Homo naledi, and how it fits into the, the picture of later human evolution. OK, before I hand over to the, the first speaker, I just want to say a few words about Carter and interdisciplinarity. OK, so human origins research is inherently and intensely interdisciplinary, um, as today's talks will actually demonstrate. So researchers from more than a, a dozen different distinct disciplines are engaged in the effort to try and understand human evolution. However, um, there have been surprisingly few attempts to create institutional mechanisms that foster knowledge, knowledge exchange and collaboration among researchers <clears throat> from those different disciplines. Um, to the best of my knowledge, Carter is the broadest in terms of the, the disciplines it covers and also the, the longest lasting of the, the very few attempts that have been made to um, to set up these sort of interdisciplinary organisations with a focus on human origins. As such, it's, it's really rather precious. Okay? Um, so I'd like, you, I'd like to ask you to consider visiting the Carter website and making a donation. The URL for the website is given in the programme. Um, every little helps, of course. If you're not in a position to do that, um, a good alternative would be to write to the leaders of the University of California, San Diego, and the Salt Institute, and, and express your gratitude for and appreciation of the work that, that Carter does. Um, as you can probably imagine, it's easier for faculty members to go to uh, leaders, the senior administration of universities and, and, and research institutions, and ask for support for initiatives if they can see, if they've got a, a clear indication that it benefits people beyond their own university, if it benefits the broader community. So emails and letters of support would be very helpful too. So thank you in advance for your assistance with uh, keeping Carter's work going.